Hello everybody, and welcome back to our Star Drive Let's Play. It's been a while since I played this, so I figured we would start today. Um, that's kind of loud. There's been updates, so all my settings are wrong. So I'm just going to fix this real quick. Okay, so last time we left off, we had, I believe, just taken over this system. The Phoebe. I'm guessing that's Phoebe's system. And first fleet, I believe, was getting resupplied. Eighth fleet was doing its thing with all of the supplies to all the planets. Um, Gigari is being uh, the help colonized. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> so. But yeah, we're going to continue on. Uh, I'm going to unpause this while I'm talking. The um, reason why I really haven't been playing a lot of this game is I haven't really had time to, but uh, just with some actual work stuff. But now that I'm kind of in a situation where I'm not going to be going anywhere for a while, we are going to play a bit and record, and hopefully I can get a couple more videos out. And we'll be doing some other stuff as well, but hopefully, t actually today, I actually do have a plan. I do have a plan to actually start a war with the Vulfin, which is going to be fun. Um, just because I, I feel that the universe is a little too peaceful, right now, or the galaxy is a little too peaceful right now, and also I want to do a bit more fighting. Now, there has been an update since the last time, and I don't know what, if anything, got um, added. Just kind of trying to take a look through this real quick. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything really got added. Now, we are doing Biosphere, so that should help our colonies that don't have a lot of stuff to them. We're doing fleet supply and all this other stuff, but what we're going to do today is basically just take our first fleet, which I think is full. Our uh, eighth fleet is actually getting resupplied with all of its ships, so we're going to have to do it, but we are going to move what we have. We're going to move what fleet we have over to Alapis, and once we take out this, we're actually going to, actually, no, sorry, we're going to move the fleet into Rields, or Rilds, or whatever you want to call it, and actually uh, use this as a staging area for our initial attack, and we are actually going to attack Black 3. Now, I believe in here we have frigates, freighters. We, now, we didn't make a bombing uh, design for our ships, I don't believe, but I. I think, if I remember correctly, the Charon class had, yeah. So the Charons are going to be our, let's bomb the hell out of the planet, uh, ships. I believe we have a bunch of those, but this is a small planet, so it shouldn't be too bad. Now, it, from the looks of it, it only, they only have these three planets or so, so... But I want to take out the Vulfin because they're tiny and insignificant and the Kurathi Empire is just kind of out here and, again, insignificant and I don't feel like going all the way out there. Now, the... Crap, I forgot their name. The Raleigh Devoted, however, are expanding fairly decently. Um, they're going to be the big ones to take out, but today we are going to pick a fight with the wolves. 
on both of them. All right, so let's go to diplomacy. Whoop. Um, not entirely sure what's going on there. Um, this might be just a glitch, but right now we are going to let it go and and we are going to just kind of click it. Go at war. I know it's that easy, but. I'm pretty sure they won't expect this. Why are you going to that? Just jump right in the middle of there. Apparently we're at war twice with them, but oh well. We've got plenty of money, so if we need to, we can resupply quickly. We've got some powerful ships. I don't know what their fleet is actually looking like right now. Oh, very tiny. Very tiny. Ooh. Haha. <laughs> I ain't paying attention. Attack. Tiny little fighters. They have just the tiny little fighters. Guess what? You are fucked. <laughs> they they kind of just exploded. <laughs> oh, you're dead. You are just plain dead. Feel the might of the United Federation. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm like, I don't know what that Corvette is doing, but... Now, none of their heavy ships are here. So I'm curious as to where their ships actually are. We're just going to actually leave the fleet here, and for right now, we're actually going to go into our fleet. Now, 8th fleet has been built as our support fleet. Uh, I'm going to build 2nd fleet up, but I was going to put in a bunch of new ships. So, actually I wanted to put that as a resupply fleet. Resupply combat fleet, so I kind of want to wait for that fleet supply. Which once we take over a couple more planets, shouldn't be an issue. That one should get blown up. Yeah, it did. As I said, they ain't lasted. Now if we go here, we can actually select Bombard, and our ships will, or the ships that can bombard the planet will bombard it. So all of our Charon freight, or yeah, frigates will go over there and, well, bomb the shit out of them. It looks like our biospheres are almost done. I'm actually going to, while that's happening, I'm going to go in here. And at the end of this entire queue, I am going to put in, uh, what is this? I'm going to put in another research thing, just to keep going on that. And we are going to do, 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 do cruiser construction. Um, so you have the cruiser, then the battleship, then the combat readiness. And we're going to do fighter theory, because I want to make uh, frigates with fighters. And then... We're going to do... I haven't really thought about this in a while. I, like I said, I haven't played this game. And we're going to do initial, inertial dampeners.
there's a couple of things I, I remember last time when I was playing that I really wanted to put in to my ships, and I couldn't remember. Oh, right. I wanted to get the armor classes up, because these actually uh, strengthen the ship. Because uh, I, I don't think we can really put any new armors besides these advanced materials. Um, but... But those other ones, it'll give us a... Um, a better chance, I would say. So, Paris installer. Are all of our Cameron class frigates dead? No, nope, there's a couple. Yeah, and they all have their... Yeah. So, Black 2 is going to be bombarded. Ooh! Another fighter came in. But yeah, the thing with um, the Vulfin, they actually have a pack mentality, so if they attack with... Um, with like one or two ships, it won't really, they won't really be able to do much. Um, bombard. Bombard me. Okay. Just go kill it. I'm just gonna click on it because apparently the bombard command is not working. Bombard. So if you click on it, it should just work. Here's the comes with Karen. Now with bombarding, it basically takes out the units and the population. So all these guys will start getting bombed. Yeah, so you see there and you see the explosions. Now the thing is, if only one ship is actually going to start bombarding, do I seriously only have one? No, they have two. I don't know if I have any more. I had a Corvette, a Corvette coming in. Yeah. Where are all my camera upgrades? Paris. Stalwart. Paris. Cameron. Okay, so I have one, two, three. I should have oh, no, 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 no. Huh. I have three K Ron class frigates. That's a bummer. Hmm. Eh, this might take a while. Or not. But yeah, we've got to take out all these people. And all the buildings. Um. But it's also killing off the population at the same time, so that's always a good thing. Uh, first fleet's being resupplied, and I'm actually going to, because I believe our empire needs some stuff to do. So, what we are going to do is we are going to go back to here, and we're going to create second fleet. Now, second fleet is going to be our bomber fleet, so a lot of these ships that are coming up, like Paris, Caron, and stuff, or Paris. I'm going to replace a lot of these with, there's not going to be a lot of heavy frigates, so we're going to take this one out. That one's going to stay, that one's going to stay. We're going to have two heavies, but we're going to have, right now we only have three, so but we're going to take out that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Frigates, 
owned freighter. Nope, uh, Zion's frigate. Uh, Lakiron. If I click shift, I'm able to place multiples at once. So the basic um, concept of RTS is of, oh yeah, multi-click, yay. So, now this is, like I said, this is going to be our bomber fleet. This is the one that we're going to send to, oh, 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 oh. No. Okay. Now we're going to put a couple of corvettes in here, just for speed and defense. So I'm just going to put five in the back. Well, not really speed, but... And we're going to requisition. 21 new ships. Now it's going to take a while to build that entire fleet, but... With this fleet, we should be able to just... Um, we should be able to kill it before anything too bad happens. And the other thing with the Volfin is they don't believe in shields all that much. So yeah, they tend to... They tend to eat a lot, and I'm pretty sure I just blew up one of my ships. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so their population's going down. They've lost a couple of buildings. Oh, this one's about to blow. One more hit on that building, and it's gone. Now, when you do a bombardment, you don't have to actually fight the people on the ground. So, you save yourself some troops and whatnot. It. There goes that guy. So now they're gonna all run. Um, so actually, if we stop our ships right now, um, this planet is actually revolting. This planet is actually. Um, yeah, we've actually incited rebels. And so if we stop now. These guys will actually kill all of these guys, and whatever they have on here will become ours. Yeah. So, it's a little little trick I've found. Now, if we bring our... Now, I don't really want to take over that planet, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, and I'm going to take First Fleet and take out the next Vulfin system. Which is, I believe, Ioner. The last colonist on Black 3 has been killed. So, yeah. So, these are all rebel outposts now. It has buildings on it, so if I take it over, I immediately take those buildings. Which is nice. Now, I don't know if I can see there. No, I can't. I was, say, I was told that I could see their little subspace inhibitors, but I think those just go away when I kill the Empire. So, but we have to say, actually, ours should now be finished. So, yay. Yeah. Now, they're getting close over there. Ooh. Their core fleet is actually heading for one of my planets. Uh oh. Um, actually, you know what? Forget it. Kill them. Because we actually have enough firepower to take out their last planet before. And a lot of times, what they'll do is, if if I'm attacking one of their planets, they will actually come back. From, yeah. See, they're actually coming back to try and salvage or to defend this this system. Right, we got two there. Now this is a small plant, so this shouldn't be too bad. Um, not too many people on the ground. Bunch of different places. Now I wanna take I wanna actually take out their head planet and take that over because that's actually a really really good planet to take over. The uh, starting planets of all the races. Where did their core fleet go? Now, I don't think they did any damage to my to my empire, but still keeping an eye out.
Yeah, they're already at point eight. Once I kill the last colonist, these buildings will actually start to kill these. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? That is a colony ship. No, that is... Apparently that ship is hostile. Oh, no. <laughs> I believe is the last colonist. Oh, nope, not yet. Yep, there it goes. So we go back off. And now like I said, I think they're actually pulling their fleets back to the home planet. And so now we can actually... Now... Seoul... If you look at Seoul, it has 14. So that's going to be a little bit tougher to beat down. Um, so... Now Phoebe... 3? Which one was it? 2.4... 17.9. Let's colonize this one. I'm gonna start because I believe our colonies are all up and running. This one's at full core strength, so we're gonna let that go. Um, our research is going well. It's at 8.0. Um, our first fleet has taken over that, so we are gonna move the fleet into position and kick the shit out of some Vulcan. <coughs> Sorry about the sneeze. That was going to be a quick war because I, I prepared for this and I don't remember what difficulty I actually set this game to, but yeah, look at all that stuff we can build now. Now, like I said in the earlier episodes, they tend to build uh, all the production speeding up things first, like the river bay, the xenomine, just to make production later on or easier. So, and we've got plenty of ammunition, or munitions, I should say. And our fleet is actually decently... Apart. Wow, they've got a lot of corvettes, but they just jumped in, so they're going to die. They made a mistake. That was a big mistake, boyos. Ooh, they've got mass accelerators. Oh no, those are turrets. But I have mass accelerators. Did they not be that accurate? Damn, they pilot without shields. So yeah, the Vulfins aren't going to really last all that much. We're going to bring... Okay, so we've only got one Paris-class heavy frigate. Um... Now, for some reason, the AI tends to... At least our ships... Tend to uh, target... I don't know why, but they tend to target uh, civilian ships first. So... I don't know if that's appropriate war strategies to take out civilians, but... Yeah, we do that. Oop. Now, we are losing ships, unfortunately. It's the first fleet. Now, we have one more building, and then we're going to resupply. Most of the ships we're losing, though, are fighters, so they're replaceable. Fairly quickly replaceable, actually. Let's just jump right in the middle of their core fleet. Do as much physical damage as possible. Whoa! They 
just emergency jumped into the system. We're, we're really high up. The highest military is actually the Corjazine Collective, which we're friends with, so... Uh, Terrace is number two... Ah, uh, actually, the Raleigh Devoted are the highest military level out of all the races. All ships kick some ass. Yeah, so I'm just kind of sitting back and watching the devastation on these guys. Oh, that guy's toast. Yeah, he was kind of in the center of the He's dead. No, I'm just gonna let these guys go. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let these guys go. They can fight if they will. They pretty much know how the door goes. So. Ooh. Vader 3 has been right? Ooh. So actually, this planet got worse. Um, I still do want to take it over. Um, mostly because it spoils the war. Uh, so yeah. Plus, it actually is a good in between planet between that and. I believe. What was the planet we were actually going to take? Uh, I think it was Blade. Way the hell out here. So, we're just going to let our ships clean this up, and while they're doing that, we're going to check our research queue. Uh, so, Xeno Farming is next, um, and then we've got all our other things. So, Second Fleet only has one ship so far. We are building the rest. First Fleet is now completely... Well, what's going to be dead is dead. So... Uh, no more Vulfin, so kick the shit out of the planet. Now oh, they've got a lot of warriors down here, so. No, the thing is, the capital city won't destroy itself because this is the heart of their empire, so we're just gonna let them. Ooh, they are actually trying to escape though, and then. Which is actually kind of freaking awesome. Because all of a sudden it was just like, oh yeah, we're going to try and run. Nope. Now, this ship I'm actually going to go tell to resupply. I'm actually going to manually resupply all these ships. Because I don't want the entire fleet going back and resupplying. Because most of these ships are actually doing work. Stalwart class for you to go. go home. Well, who else is out of ammo? You are out of ammo, so go home. Now, before we engage in our next um, war, I'm actually going to make a resupply fleet. That way, we actually have the resources uh, moving with us. Now oh, this ship is actually damaged, so it ain't gonna move very much. Let's 
so. But yeah, now we've taken over Phoebe, and Phoebe is actually being. What the hell is that? Oh, it's jump transport. Like, what the hell is that thing? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. I want to do this. So, the rubber is being built. Uh, colonists are coming, which is good. It's making us some money. It's making us money. Uh, now that we're at war with these guys, I believe I can do steel tech. We are number one economic, like four in scientific. Now, who are we going to take out next? The the Draylock Empire is pretty big. The Terrace. I might, and we can't go after the Cordrazine. Ooh, Zena Farming's done. I kind of want to go after the the Raleigh Empire, but let's finish the. Well, they're finished off the Wolford Empire. Cause why is the hell not? Wow, that's actually taking. A lot longer to beat the snot out of than I thought it would. <laughs> Although they have a military outpost, so. Have a little bit more. Once we have most of Second Fleet, Stalwart, Paris, Stalwart. Okay. So none of the Charon's finished for Second Fleet yet. So. Oh well. Now, I do want to see if we have any leftover colony ships, which we don't. As Aries. Oh, more ships are finished. Nope, they're all the Star Wars class ones. Or Soul. <laughs> I lost my home planet. That's not good. <clears throat> I don't actually want to put it and skip ahead. Jump colonizer. No, nope, I want the jump colonizer. Ah, there it goes. And I want to do that, and I want to build it as best as possible. So do that. And we have both of these, and the Xeno farm is actually being built. Xeno mine, farm, okay, cool. I did training for her. <laughs> I forgot what I did. Um, so what did I say I was going to piss off next? So let's do the Draylock. Actually, yeah, let's piss off the Draylocks, because I want to take out the weak, weaker empires. And it looks like the Opteris, or the, the Raleigh Devoted are going to be our big fighting, uh, or big, are going to result in a big fight, so I want to keep them alive. Now, fleet number two, I want you in here because you have a bomber now, and you need to bomb the shit out of this place, <clears throat> because they're already back up to full strength. First fleet, go entirely resupply. Entire fleet, just go. Because all of our bombers are actually out of Munitions. I love listening to them jump. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. That's, that's, no. That's not okay. What, what is that? What, what the fuck is that? Okay. They just pissed me off. A terrorist, guess what? You're now going to die. I'm gonna go send you a train. You. Are you gonna steal their tech? Just to piss them off. Because we are actually gonna split this map right down the middle. Take out. Finish off the Wolfen Empire. And then. 
then now second fleet actually just sit in the system because I want to bring all my ships to bear all the at least the bomber ships to bear so now I'm not entirely sure how long this episode has lasted so far it looks like it's been about a half hour um, now we've engaged in our first war we've got some more research building um, we're actually going to have medium freighters, which is going to be great for our fleet when we get fleet supply, which actually, because I'm getting sick of having to send ships back, I'm actually going to put that up there. Now, for fleet supply, I tend to let... Yay! We actually gained military outpost from them for research. So, we don't have to research that anymore, and I think, yeah, that leads to ship assault, shipboard medicine... Um, a walkers, or not a walkers, but big beefy. Hello, I'm going to make your day a living hell, Walker. Um, and then also planetary defense cannons. This is actually going to go on the list. Um, when we do it, I don't care. Uh, but yeah, once we get the medium freighters, we, uh, I believe we can upgrade our eighth fleet with some of those to be able to shuttle people back and forth quicker. But I want to kind of look at the design, because like I said, the game has some, and I like I like the way some of those actually look. Oh. Oh. There we go. Medium freighters have been unlocked. So, I'm going to finish this episode, and we're going to look at what kind of freighter we can get. So medium transport, I'm just gonna look at so yeah, the basic it's just big, bulky, and holy crap. However, we are gonna change it. Um Yeah, see these are big warp engines, so I'm just gonna throw big ass warps on it. So it goes a little faster, like I said. And we're going to take out one of these. Take out that. Uh, fuel cell. No, we want storage. Small storage. And our cockpit. And the question is do we want a cockpit or a bridge? So the bridge is going to take up the four slots, but I don't think it needs this many, especially if we do this. So I'm going to put a bridge on this one. Just to Yeah. Um no, no. I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. Here and there. Cool. So it now has power recharge and now all that stuff and it actually can hold more. So save as medium How did I name the other ones? Forget? No, no, it was for you. So small jump transport. So we're just going to save it as medium jump transport. Yeah, I'm really good at my naming schemes. And I'm also really good at typing. Okay, so we've got that upgraded. It's a bit faster of a transport, which is good. And we're going to start building some of those. And now I know a couple of our planets don't have anything to do. So we're actually going to go to them. Ships. Freighters. And medium jump transport. Now the first one I want really quick, so... There we go. Now this planet's all set up. It's got everything it needs right now, because we haven't really given it much to do. Um, yeah, so that medium transport just finished. So we're going to go into our fleet, and this is actually what we're going to wrap up on, is putting... Oh, there is actually a colonizer in the air system. I'm just going to put these guys randomly, just because... 
his, oh, it was just his fingers. Okay. Okay, he finished training. Let's do... Yeah, the Alteris are pissing me off, so let's steal their tech. Because they're actually... Eh, yeah, they're number six, but they might still have some decent tech. And sending three of these guys might uh, do us some good. And these are still building, mostly because I put those two fleets to build. Okay. Second fleet. Begin your bombardment. First fleet, begin your bombardment. So, with us bombarding that planet, and that loud ass noise of <laughs> the ships jumping, we are going to call that an episode. Um, so, we've quote unquote started and finished our first war. Um, Vulcans weren't really that much of a match for the, our ship designs. Um, well, they didn't have a lot of shields, they were kind of low down on the totem pole. Um, so, but next time, hopefully we can finish picking our fight, our new fight, with the Opteris. And kick the shit out of them. But... That's going to be the next episode. I've been Wayne Dre for Screw It, we're doing it live, and I'm loving this game. I remember why I started playing this in the first place, and I'm going to leave you with the lovely sounds of wolves dying.